to your love reading for July. Hope you friends are doing great out there. If you friends like this, please like and subscribe. Let's see what's going on with you, beautiful Leos. I am Leo Rising for those of you who are new or just didn't know that. <laughs> right? I think I say it like every now and again. Okay. But I am. I am Taurus Sun, Leo Rising, and Libra Moon. And my Taurus is in my Venus. So my Venus is in my Taurus, however, right? Okay, so I've got a lot of Taurus in, in my chart. <clears throat> a lot of Leo, though, too. It's really weird. I think I have two Leo placements and two two or three Taurus placements. So, But you know what's the funniest thing about me, my friends, is I have no water in my chart, so... <laughs> I'm uh, getting all my love and my compassion from my Venus. Okay, here we go. Soulmate connection coming out for you guys. Oh my gosh, here we go. Yes, this is your soulmate. Oh my gosh, and they're coming in fast and strong, or you're coming in fast and strong. Someone is coming. Make the effort. Okay. Children involved. Your love life is being affected by your children. You have children. You have children. They have children. You guys both might have children. Could end up like the Brady Bunch. Right? We're going to intertwine our families. Um, for those of you who do not have children, this person could have children. Um, you know, in some ways, I don't like it there because the only other reason I can see it there, guys, is I'm going to say it right now. The silliness and the funness is going to be very childlike, okay? Yes. There is going to be this innocence, this love, this unconditional type of love, and it's going to feel very childlike, like we're going to play like children. You know what I'm saying? The way we play is like children. Um, but I actually want to grab another card for that one anyways. Because the more I'm looking at it, it's like I just keep... I know for some of you, you really do have children. Do you get, okay. Okay, so just remember, it is affected by children. We will get to that one, but it's also you called in a soulmate. Wow! Okay, so... And retreat was the next one with flirt. See? The child. Oops, the child like this. It's like that... That innocent, uh, we're teenagers, we're flirting. Okay, so I'm going to keep that there as a side reminder, though, because for a lot of you, that's exactly what it is. It's just going to, I haven't flirted with anybody like that since I was a teenager. Okay, but there's this, like, kind of innocent feeling and very joyful, over happy, bubbly, it's Christmas time feeling. Okay, so we're just going to keep those there. But look at that. You called in a soulmate. Look at that soulmate. You called him in. Or they called you in. Okay, so we're just going to keep the children on the side. But there is going to be a lot of flirting going on over here. And I do feel like some of you also have children. So we're going to put the flirt here and the children here. You guys see that? I'm putting it here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, then we're going to put that there. You guys know that they, when you meet them, they don't have any children. You don't have any children. Then just throw that piece away. Just don't like pieces that are so, like, maybe 20, you know, 20% of you. It's just not good. Okay, here we go. The compatibility. Well, of course, you're going to have compatibility. This is the most compatible relationship I've ever had. That's what I heard. I've never met anybody so compatible with me. Somebody, they have manifested this. They manifested this. You know what's crazy? I'm going to tell you this right now. What's crazy is one of them is manifesting this and the other one called in a soulmate. And you know what's crazy about this situation? is because somebody manifested, either you or them, have manifested a love this true and called in a soulmate. And then, your, and then their soul said, you know what? You need a new soul. You need a new soulmate. I'm, my soul's going to call you in. I don't know. If you know you weren't manifesting this, then you're the, your soul's the one that called it in when they were manifesting. Or vice versa, right? That's crazy. So then it became so connected 
there was like, this is like 100% like faded, literally. So you're like making your own destination, making your own determinations, making your own destiny. I'm just going to say this was you for a minute, right? While their soul's over here going, I need a soulmate. Oh yeah, you need a soulmate and I need a soulmate. Hey, you know what? We've grown enough to be together. So guess what? Uh, I'm gonna call your soul in because your soul's calling me and we're, I'm noticing we're exactly the same. We're so compatible. We've grown the same. We've done everything. I don't care what the age is, right? We just did that. Boom, bull, yeah. Wow. It was like perfect timing. That's crazy. Okay, so it looks to me like they were calling in a soulmate while you were manifesting or vice versa. Huh. You wanted someone to tend your garden. This person's going to tend your garden. You were manifesting, well, I'm just going to say it to you for now. You're manifesting someone to come in and love you up. Somebody that you want to grow old with. Someone who, you know what, we can do the same things. We have a lot of compatibility together. I want someone to love me. I want someone to hold me. A lot of love and affection. Wow. You're definitely the yin and the yang. I'm definitely the masculine and they're the feminine or vice versa. There are some things that are going on that makes us a little different. It could be status quo. Maybe I'm richer than they are. Maybe I'm older than they are by many years. They're younger than me, however. But there is definitely something that's going on with the yin and yang that makes you guys definitely different from each other. But yet you can come together as this beautiful yin and yang ball to say, but we have enough compatibility to where I want to learn to do what they're doing. I want to be what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? So even if they don't know certain things that I'm doing, we can learn together. Oh. No, that is not going to happen. I just seen you guys knitting together. You know that's totally not going to happen, right? And she knows how to knit, and she's going to teach me. And I see you two old people, like, sitting down, knitting together. What is Grandma and Grandpa doing? <laughs> oh. Oh. i got a, a great imagination, too, guys. Okay. But I did see that. That would be... Now, that's going to be interesting. If, I, if, if that happens, I, I want to get that message later in life. Yes, I taught him how to knit, and he just loves knitting his sweater. Hey, you know what? I want the picture. I want to see it. <laughs> and so I can say, woohoo, that is cool. Okay? Because I would, you never, never see men knitting, right? <clears throat> but if that were to happen, I want to see that picture. I think everybody wants to see that. Yeah. Just like raise your hand who wants to see that picture. We all do. Okay, guys, let's go. <clears throat> I don't know. Sometimes I see the funniest things. Okay, here we go. Yeah, you got my heart chakra going crazy over here, and I'm spreading my wings. Look at that. Two of wands. I am spreading my wings, walking the rainbow bridge, waiting. There is so much progress. I'm waiting for you. I am walking with you. We are coming together. It's almost like you're walking this bridge over here, and you know, here they come. Here they come right straight to you. See that soul right there? There it is. They're coming straight to you. It's, it's like we have this. Right? And there's that balance again of that yin and yang. We are so balanced together. We balance each other out. That's totally what it is. We balance each other out, just like the yin and yang. Even if we have some diff, you know, different things that are going out, it's okay. Because we know how to balance each other out. We know what it is we need. Okay, so I'm going to grab one of these cards really fast. I love these cards. Wow. As soulmates, we know what we need. We called each other in one way or another. It doesn't matter. Ooh, there is no second option. You are my option. Wow. Yeah. There is no second option. I have no second options. You are my option. They are telling you, you are my option, Leo. There is nothing. There is no one else. There is nothing else. I feel like when we are around each other, I do not have to stand my ground. 
I do not have to feel like I'm in challenge mode. There's nothing challenging about this relationship. We are so open with each other. I feel so very comfortable. This is because we are destined soul ties. There it is again. We are destined for each other. There is no one better than you. No one. Look at that. Someone better upside down. No one is better than you in my eye. Wow. It's you who I love. Make the effort over here, Leo. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. They want you to make the effort. You want them to make the effort. This is worth the effort. Every bit of it. Well, it already showed that over there. Yeah, there is emotional freedom. I do not feel like I have to hide my emotions from you. I am emotionally grown. That's why you called in a soulmate, because you're both emotionally grown. You don't feel like you're with that person who's hiding out in the corner. And you're like, what's wrong? And you're like, leave me alone. I'm in downtime. I don't want to talk about it. Right? No. You're emotionally there. When they're mad, they don't just walk away from you and not want to talk about things. Try to fix things. No, they're saying there's emotional freedom. Let's sit down. Let's talk about this together as one. That's what people really want. Right? How are we going to fix things if you are always hiding out or not on the same emotional level? If I am sad, it's okay. Come talk to me. What's wrong? Tell me why you're sad. Isn't that what everybody wants? Or are you going to sit up there and be like, well, I don't know what your problem is. Go figure it out by yourself. I don't want to hear about it. I don't care that you're upset. That I don't care. I really don't care. Go sit over there and figure it out. Or don't worry about me. Don't. Don't worry about it. I'll deal with it myself. I'm going to hermit out for like a month. I'll be back. Wait, we're not going to talk about it? No. And how are we going to ever fix anything? How are we ever going to get down to things? How will I heal you? How am I going to help you? How am I going to get you through grieving moments when things happen and you're hiding out and you never want to express yourself? Come on, guys. You know that this is what we have to do. We can't just always hide out from every little thing. You want the emotional freedom. You want to know, hey, I don't feel good. Right? You're the rabbit. Right? They come to you. Here's the freedom. They come to you. What's wrong? I just don't feel good. Why? Why don't you feel good? Tell me. Tell me. Come here. Tell me what's wrong. Right? Otherwise, you just dig a little hole and you go underneath the ground. You won't see that rabbit for days. And this is why you want to make the effort. Because this person has the emotional freedom. They want to love with you, grow with you. That's a part of growing. If we're always hiding out from our emotions, we're not growing. They are creative. Oh, my God, you guys. What, how more beautiful could you be for a Leo sign, right? Or an Aries sign could be dealing with an Aries, right? Two very creative people. But how could you not love that? They want to do creative things. They're very creative. They're writers, maybe the musicians. They want to go to the park. They want to go have fun. They want to paint. They want to do things that is fun. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's go on a hot air balloon ride. Come on. That'll make you feel better. Oh, you're feeling down and out. It's okay. Come on. Come on. We'll go do something fun. Don't worry about it. I got you. Because that's what you want to do with them, and you want to equal give and take. If you're always giving, Leo, and you're always trying to do things, and someone's always hiding out, how are you going to express your creativity and your love? They have self-respect for you. They see you have self-respect for yourself, and they have self-respect for themselves, and for you as well as you do them. Why? Because when we have self-respect for ourselves, we know how to give it back. Right? That's why healing is so important. They are mature enough. Oh, God. And we just talked about immaturity. We're not going back there. You know exactly what that is. And every Leo understands what the heck that is going on, right? It's like how many of us, even, even myself when I was younger, I had a boyfriend. The only boyfriend I've ever had besides my husband, right? But not even... I'm not joking, but he was so immature. He was like a year younger than me, but my God, how much more immature could you be to the point? And I've even seen it within my kids and their boyfriend, you know, their boyfriends and girlfriends and all that stuff. 
Um, yeah, uh, I don't need somebody immature. Okay. I don't need, I don't need another child. <laughs> right. I've already, for some of you are like, I've already got some. I don't need another one. I need somebody who's mature enough to tend my garden. Heck yeah. Who can be alone when the time needs to be alone. If I have to go to work, they're not going to be, you know, bugging me and being immature about the situation. They let me be when I need to, you know. And when you need that time alone, everybody does need that time alone, they're going to get their time alone. I'm going to go read a book. You're going to go read a book because we're mature enough to know when we do need time alone, it's cool. Right? I'm going to go get my hair done. I'll be back. Okay, that's cool. I'm going to go work on the car. Right? However, right, not needing all these boundaries. I don't need all those boundaries. Why do I need all those boundaries? There's so much intimacy. Whoop, whoop. There we go. Hello. There's so much intimacy and so much love. We know when it's time that we can be alone together because then when the time is done being alone together, we get together, we have the love, we have the intimacy, we have the togetherness, and then we tend each other's garden. Why do we know? Because we've seen it over there. Tending it to my garden. Wow. This is like, wow. You know you're dealing with an adult when you're talking like this, right? You're not talking about children. I don't need another boyfriend or girlfriend where it feels like I'm raising another kid. Right? Yeah, because you moved on from that crap. Yeah, I've moved on from all that. I don't need that. Absolutely. I don't need all of that. I've moved on and away from that. That's why I called out a soulmate. Mm-hmm. Right? Yep, you've unlocked the potentials of the soulmate connection. Right? And for those of you who have not met this person yet, they're reaching out to you. They're saying, I need to reach out. Or you are saying, I need to reach out to you. I know where you are, but I need to reach out. So some of you, this person hasn't even come in yet, but this is inevitable. So calling out a soulmate, you have the inevitable. There is flirting going on within the situation. Next thing you know, yep, you love me. That I don't love you is upside down as I know you love me. Wow. This is a beautiful commitment that is going to be started. Accept it for all it's worth because it is worth it all. Wow. Wow. This is just so beautiful. <coughs> I'm going to pick one of these cards over here. I'm just kind of going back and forth and whatever card I feel. I'm not doing anything, you know, 100. Just kind of going with the flow over here. And I got the two of cups, soulmate connection, because... We are calling our soulmates in because we see that we have the potential. This is where the togetherness comes through. You know, the universe says we are potentially made for each other with the love. So I am moving into this love with you. I need my soul to move in. Your soul's moving in. I think for some of you guys I haven't even met yet. Oh my gosh, they're moving in right now. It's like, oh, here we come. I'm moving in on you because we have success and growth together. This is where it is because we've manifested each other. Our souls have called each other in because of manifestation. You are getting your manifestation or they're getting their manifest. Whoever's doing whatever. Oh my gosh. This is probably your dreams are coming true. Uh, Leo. Uh, so trust me within the universe. Okay. Detach from things that no longer serve you. You know, you don't need that crap. Right? Because you have something so beautiful coming in that as you detach, you see the Ace of Cups coming in. This is where your dreams and decisions are becoming made. Right? <clears throat> wow. Okay. With the children over here, let me just grab a few cards for the children. Uh, we'll use regular ch because of the children. I just think that the children over here is just like, you know what? They're going to be beautiful with the children. We can intermix our families. We can, if I have small children, they have small children. We're going to be the Brady Bunch. This is going to be wonderful. You know, we're going to hire Alice and we're going to have a dog. And you know what? We're going to be awesome. Love the Brady Bunch, you guys. Oh, right. <clears throat> So with the children over here, clarify on the children. Ah, uh, the children, you know, I mean, some children are going to be, yeah, bringing in new people. But, yeah, you know, look at that. Happy family. You know, some of the children, they were kind of like, you know. But it looks like they have, they're going to love this person. At first, they could be a little, oh, I don't know if I want, you know, that's not my dad. That's not my mom. You know, you know how kids are, right? We all know that. But in the end, it's a happy family. It's like, well, the dreams come true. Here's the dog. Here's the kids. 
right? Don't forget Alice. Yeah. Some of you can be with a Taurus, yourself with a Taurus, or this very wealthy person, or you guys are going to become very wealthy together, or you're going to intermix your family, but you're going to have a very happy, disciplined family. A very, you know what, this is a very generous person, um, right? This person can even bring up your self-confidence, right? Or you can bring in self-confidence to them. This is just a beautiful reading of very much a lot of passion, right? There's a lot of passion. Clarify on the passion, please. Oh my gosh, yeah, this message is coming in really fast. Could be happening within over the weekend if you haven't met this person yet. And they're coming in strong. Could be on the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. Yeah, because I got 7, 8. Could be somewhere between the 7th and the 8th that this person is coming in. Could be within two days. Ooh, thank you. I love it when you give me time. Yeah, because no matter what, it's what you manifest, it's what your soul called in. Twin flame connection for some of you. This is where the sun is coming out, my friends. No more sadness. Don't look back. Now you can look back and look and see your castle coming through because you have the world standing in your hands. It was a slow moving process. You've probably been waiting a long time, but there was a lot of things you had to learn, right? There were challenges that you had to go through before you could get to this beautiful love connection, right? Because, hey, the bigger we manifest, the more obstacles we have to go through. And if you're calling in a soulmate, there's things that have to be done, Maybe you had to get rid of an ex. Maybe you had to get divorced. Maybe you had to do this. Maybe you had to do that. Right? Maybe they had to do things. So not only are you waiting for yourself, you're waiting on them as well to get past things. So, yeah, but otherwise there's a celebration. And this is a solid foundation. There you go. That's what I was looking for. Thank you, Spirit. Solid foundation. Nothing is going to break this connection. This is so solid. You don't move a mountain. You can cover it. But guess what, guys? Even through the hardest of hard times, a mountain stays. It can get covered with snow, but the snow melts. It can get dirty. You sweep it off, right? Because you have this beautiful, what, emotional connection. Because remember, they're not going to run and hide from you. They want to talk things out like normal people. That is going to be something for somebody 100. And anybody who is a cross watcher, that could be a big thing for you as well. Okay. Um, because I'm telling you right now, that is a big win for someone dealing with people who are emotionally immature, okay, or want to fight, don't want to really do things together. They just want to yell, scream, fight, throw things, but that's not a real connection, right, to you that can be seen as even childhood, you know, as child behavior. Jump up and down, scream, yell, throw things, right? Who, what are you doing, right? Grow up, right? People who are what? Not in control of their emotions. Absolutely. But this person is because you can embrace it and shine, right? You can embrace it and shine. Absolutely got the sun card. Now you got the sun card twice. Woohoo! You got the sun card twice. Oh, beautiful reading, Leo. Until next time, peace and love, my friends. Bye-bye.